All right. Today, we're going to be taking this swing axle car and converting it to IRS. So, this particular unit, the transmission will no longer stay in first gear. You put it in first gear, try to apply any torque, and it pops right out of first gear. The swing axle could absolutely be replaced, but he'd like to upgrade to IRS. So that's our plan for today. We have to pull this unit, and then up in here, we have to install the pockets for the trailing arms, and then uh, install the new unit, move a few things, but we'll progress through that through the day. Okay, these are the jigs that you will need. These will bolt on to the end of the torsion housing and the pocket brackets will bolt on here and that'll allow you to line up the pockets on the torsion where they belong. Okay, so what we have to do here is trim this out and come in with this bracket and mount it right in there. Here I'm going to use the plasma cutter to trim away this material. So now comes the tricky part. We have to make this bracket fit. Trim this out to fit this bracket. To start with, we're just going to cut a hole for that pushing to fit in. Just working slowly, putting the pocket in, gradually making the hole bigger until you can get it to fit in there. Now, in able to be able to tell where I need to trim the pocket to put it in place, I'm going to put this in and I'm going to use a spacer and some longer bolts just to hold it in here temporary and that'll hold it away from the torsion and give me a better idea of where I need the trim. What this does for me is locate the pocket on the torsion but it's an inch closer to the outside. Now I can take some soapstone, lay it flat on here, and mark where I need to trim, where I need to clean any paint away, all that kind of stuff, and that'll give me a better idea of where to put the pocket. So with that, I get the lines that I need to trim to make that pocket fit. The best thing here is to go slow 
and keep test fitting it. It's a lot easier to trim a little more material than to have to come back and try to fill a big hole. And this is the trimmed pocket, ready to weld the pocket in. It's important to remove the paint from the brackets. It'll give you a much better weld. I'm just using a hammer here to tap on it and make sure everything's seated into place and fits nice. You want to make sure that you put some tack welds in a few places before you start welding continuous just to keep it from pulling or moving as you weld it. When installing the trailing arm, there are two washers. Both washers go on the outside. Uh, it kind of looks like one should go on either side, but from Volkswagen, they had both washers on the outside. Don't finish tightening this bolt until you have it connected to the spring plate. So my plan, my way of putting the torsion bars in is to use a chain up over the frame and then under the jack. And then I take that, put a little tension on it, hook it together. That way, when it tries to pick up on the car, it actually pushes down on the chain and keeps it from going anywhere. It's the safest way that I've come up with to do it. Here, after I snug up the bolts, I take a sledgehammer and just give it a good tap on the end of the torsion housing to seat everything on the splines and then tighten up the bolts. Otherwise, you can bend that cap pretty bad. All right, here we are end of the day got the trailing arms installed tires back on it everything pretty well buttoned up just kind of a final view showing how this turns out still have some work to do installing the CVs and all that but uh, basically to the same point we started this morning Thanks for watching.